to stand by. Is the engine ready? Captain, are you out of your mind? We are up to our ears in high ahead. Slow. Destroy the Do ship. Don't forget my cargo. Captain, open the door. Captain, sir, open the door. What's wrong with you? I am Stop it! Do something! Calm down! There's no need to rush anymore. It'll start soon. How much longer? Don't know. This is an automated process. We need to get out of here. And go where? What about the crew? The crew will manage. Get the helicopter ready! Without the captain's permission, I can't do that, sir. I'll help you. We'll all do it together. I'll meet you on top in ten minutes. Cast thy bread upon the waters, for thou shalt find it after many days. Wait, he is saying something. <clears throat> no, I can't hear anything. Remember also thy Creator in the days of thy youth, before the evil days come, and the years draw nigh, 
when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Two, before the sun and the light and the moon and the stars are darkened, the clouds return after the rain. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow down, and the grinders cease because they are few, and those who look out of the windows shall be darkened, and the doors shall be shut in the street when the sound of the grinding is low, and one shall rise to the song of a bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Yea, they shall be afraid of that which is high, and terror shall be in the way. And the almond tree shall blossom, and the grasshopper shall be a burden, and desire shall fail. Because man goeth to his everlasting home, and the mourners go about the streets. silver cord is loosed, or the golden bowl is broken, or the pitcher is broken at the fountain, or the wheel broken at the cistern, and the dust returneth to the earth as it was, and the spirit returneth unto God who gave it. Forget about me! Oh, don't leave me! Don't leave! Oh. And the forest went on singing its mournful song, and the thunder crashed, and the rain poured down. What else can I do to save these people? cried out Danko above the thunder. And suddenly he ripped open his breast and tore out his heart and held it high above his head. It shone like the sun, even brighter than the sun, and the raging forest was subdued and lighted up by this torch, the torch of a great love for the people. And the darkness retreated before it and plunged, quivering, into a yawning bog in the depths of the forest. And in their astonishment, the people were as if turned to stone. The brave Danko cast his eye over the endless steppe, cast a joyful eye over this land of freedom, and gave a proud laugh. And then he fell down and died. And his followers were so full of joy and hope that they did not notice he had died, and that his brave heart was still flaming 
beside his dead body. But one timid creature noticed it, and fearing he knew not what, stamped on the flaming heart, and it sent up a shower of sparks and went out.